Hello there and welcome back to the Mr. Sin channel. Today we are going to be reviewing Unit 8, Topic 9, Treatment of Disorders from the Biological Perspective. As always, if you're finding value in these topic review videos, consider subscribing and supporting the channel. Biomedical therapy is an important aspect of treating disorders. These therapies include magnetic impulses, electrical stimulation, and also drugs. Another treatment here is lifestyle changes. And even though this might sound like it doesn't belong in this category, when you think about it, everything we do influences our biology. The nutrition we fuel our bodies with, what recreational activities we enjoy, and how we exercise our body all affect our physiology. Our thoughts influence our biology as well. When we feel happiness or anger, it's coming from electrical activity in our brain. All this is known as a therapeutic lifestyle change. This therapy has been shown to be an effective treatment for those with depression disorders. It includes regular exercise, adequate sleep, social connections, nutritional supplements, light exposure, and and practicing redirecting negative thought. The biggest biomedical treatment, however, are drug therapies. A doctor prescribes medication in order to attempt to change a person's brain chemistry. When looking at psychopharmacology, we can see that it's greatly evolved since the 1950s and has helped many people be able to leave mental hospitals. Anti-anxiety medication can help depress an individual's sympathetic nervous system, but may cause an individual to become tired and lack energy. Antidepressant medication alters serotonin in the body and norepinephrine. Antipsychotic drugs target dopamine and serotonin to treat both positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia. Mood stabilizers work to stabilize manic and depressive episodes in individuals with bipolar disorder. Lastly, stimulants help improve focus and attention of individuals. These are often used to help individuals with ADHD. Another biomedical therapy is brain stimulation. There are a few different methods of brain stimulation, such as electroconvulsive therapy, transcranial electrical stimulation, magnetic stimulation, and deep brain stimulation. All of these methods are used to treat severe depression that is resistant to other treatments. ECT, when first introduced, was administered while the patient was awake and strapped to a table and looked quite scary. Now it's much gentler and the patient is sedated and has been given a muscle relaxant so there is no convulsing. Here the psychiatrist will set the patient up to receive a brief electrical current that will trigger a small seizure. What is amazing is that this is an effective treatment with 70% of people having improvement and the reason behind the effectiveness is still unknown. The other forms of brain stimulation are less intense than an ECT, but because they do not induce a seizure, they do not have the same success rate. The last biomedical treatment to talk about is psychosurgery. This is where the brain tissue is either removed or destroyed. The most notable is a primitive form of treatment called a lobotomy, which is no longer performed. The original lobotomy was developed by Igis Manas, who found that cutting the connections between the frontal lobe and the emotional centers of the inner brain could calm violent patients. These procedures would work work to decrease bad emotions, but many times also would cause the person to suffer personality changes, become detached, or they would die from the procedure. Psychosurgery now is only used on a micro scale that is much more tactical and sophisticated. For example, someone with seizure disorders can be helped by a surgeon cutting just the specific nerves that are involved in the seizure activity. The biggest thing to remember though about psychosurgery is as a treatment, it is irreversible. So they're typically used as a last resort. And there you have it, another topic review video down. Now comes the time to practice what we've learned. Answer the questions on the screen and check your answers in the comment section below. As always, if you found value in this video, consider subscribing and check out the Ultimate Review Packet. It is a great resource that covers all the units of AP Psychology, and it'll definitely help you get an A in your class and a 5 on that national exam. As always, thank you again for watching. I'm Mr. Sin, and I'll see you next time online.